Vinterkorn, Professor Vinterkorn, did come out with a video statement yesterday, and I know you were listening to it, you were monitoring yeah. it, and the takeaway seemed to be that he was holding firm. He didn't want to make any move just then. What do you think transpired between yesterday and today? Well, he had meetings with the executive committee. There are five people on that board. Normally, there's six. Of those five people, he didn't apparently have enough, uh, enough support to go on to the full board, which was always expected to extend his contract as of last week on Friday. On Friday, he was supposed to get this two-year contract extension through 2018 for Dr. Martin Vinterkorn, who has lived autos, who has lived Volkswagen his entire life. This last week has been a stunning turnaround. It has been remarkable in every way. And what he says now is that he's resigning in part. He's not accepting. He's accepting personal, personal responsibility. He isn't saying that he's done anything wrong, but he thinks the new CEO should have a clear slate to move forward, to rebuild the company. That rebuilding is going to have two parts. One, it's going to be focusing on the legal litigation, the hurdles, and two, the technical challenges of how you fix this problem. Vinterkorn thought he could do the technical side of that. That's pretty clear. Looks like the board didn't have the support or the confidence that he could do the second part, which is turn the brand around. Now we have to figure out who the next CEO is. The two candidates that we think are very close are Herbert Diess. He recently came over from BMW. Now he's running the Volkswagen brand, one of the 12 brands. And then, of course, Matthias Muller. Matthias Muller is the CEO of Porsche. One thing about Porsche, though, you know, they sold about 190,000 vehicles last year. The Volkswagen Group as a whole sold 10 million vehicles. Now, that said, when you look at Porsche's profits, they had $3 billion in profit last year. The Volkswagen brand itself had about 2.5. So if they go with Porsche, they're going with a luxury profit center.